morning everybody today is a little bit more of a minimal makeup day today and i'm actually really enjoying it i feel so tired literally like i've been hit by a truck with tiredness which is so stupid because i've i'm sleeping normally i don't know i feel like i'm just not the quality of sleep is bad is anyone else having really weird dreams at the moment because honestly me and all of my friends are having the weirdest dreams i think it's like us trying to process everything that's going on and like new situations that we've never encountered before me and lauren were talking about this this morning it's just so strange so i decided to just not do my full normal eye makeup because i just couldn't handle doing like a winged liner and stuff today and it actually looks really really fresh and really lovely i've got a few beauty products that i'm really liking for this makeup look so i will talk you through those in a second but anyway i digress so today is a bit of a organizing day you know one of those pottering around the house days we're all doing them at the moment but i really need to sort out the second bedroom because as you guys will know i've been sorting out various rooms in the flats over the past couple of months i did my kitchen my kitchen is like so so organized like this room is very minimal so there's not a lot going on in it not a lot to really like keep organized which is great but that room it really does tend to get very out of hand and there's a lot of stuff in it that when i moved last i brought with me from my old house and i don't think i need it i wasn't sure at the time so i brought it with me and i haven't touched it since so there's a lot of things that are being stored in that room that i'm not necessarily in need of right now and today is the day that i'm going to sort it out because you guys will know i've ordered lots of nail things and lots of gym equipment and i really would love a place to store that so i'm going to have a sort through that today and it's also important i sort through that for the future for when i move um, and i'm going to sit down for this chat I'm tired. But yeah, I thought I would quickly talk you through that as well because I know there have been a few questions in the comments because I say I'm moving soon and people are like, how can you be moving soon? We're in lockdown and soon is very subjective. So I'm not talking like tomorrow otherwise you would see a lot more boxes being packed and things like that but as i've said before my contract on this property is up very very soon. So we're kind of playing it by ear. I can't talk about the situation in full right now just because there are still a few things that are up in the air and when i can talk about this in full i will and you it will all kind of make sense i hope i think a lot of you would be surprised at what goes on behind the scenes sometimes that is the reason that youtubers can't talk about things because it is mad i am moving soon and when i say soon the reason i say soon is because i really don't know when because obviously there is a lockdown on right now i haven't renewed my contract on this flat and it is up after even an extended lockdown so fingers crossed everything is going to be okay and i will move as i planned to originally but i also did mention in a previous vlog like i did plan to be gone right now like at the start of the year i didn't plan on still being in this property right now and i will explain that in full in the future but i just wanted to address that because i had seen someone say like I, I really don't understand what's going on and obviously soon for me it does not it's not necessarily the same as soon for you so when i say soon it is soon but that's from my perspective it feels like it's soon but it's not in the next week or anything like that so nobody panic but i could see a few people were like a little bit confused by that and i'm sure some of you just really didn't care and really didn't need any of that explaining but yeah that is why i'm so hot on keeping things organized at the moment because i need to be ready to pack if someone says go i need to be ready so yeah and we've done a good job so far at keeping everything organized even with ryan moving in everything is still fairly organized it's just that room so i'm going to be having a little sorting out day today i'm also going to try and simultaneously film a video on my beauty routines at home so everything that i'm doing i mean i do a lot of my beauty stuff at home anyway the only thing i've ever had anyone else do is my nails obviously and my hair and that's it and my hair without the extensions is very very low maintenance anyway i always go for a balayage so i'm not like particularly high maintenance other than the hair extensions which i can live without and i'm going to have to live without very soon because in the last video i think i mentioned that i'm due to have them taken out for me is tomorrow but will have been last friday for you since i said oh but i think i'm fine and i can go another couple of weeks it's literally turned like that appointment was bang on bang on the money for when i needed them redone so yeah this week they've literally just started to very slowly take a turn they've now grown out enough that i can accidentally slip a finger through the space between my scalp and my extension so you can accidentally kind of like tug and that is a very uncomfortable feeling for anyone that's not familiar with it so yeah at home beauty treatments the Susie spa is coming up i think in the next video and i'm really excited for you to see it i'm going to be taking you through my tanning process a few new things that i've been using tanning wise i think since i did my 
last tanning routine video which if you want to go and watch that and you're too impatient to wait until the next one i will link that yeah so i'll be taking you through like teeth whitening so i always get asked about that and i talk about it a lot in vlogs and it's always the thing that we cut out because my vlogs get too long and i think i've talked about it like five times and lauren's had to cut it out like five times yeah so all of that is coming up that like everything you could possibly imagine coming up on thursday i want to say thursday that is my day today i'm just going to bring you along with me i feel like i've rambled forever it's literally been like seven minutes this is going to be like a third of the vlog i feel better already for just like sitting down and having a chat with you i felt so like tired and sad before this is why like people when people are like what motivates you i'm just like i really enjoy talking to you guys and just like oh, it just makes me feel more normal like more like everything is okay so yeah that is what we are doing today i think that is it for updates for me i need to do my hair or at least like put it up or do something with it i washed it last night and the back is just crazy you know that like i've just washed my hair kind of vibe can you see it's just a bit uh yeah <laughs> i can feel it i don't know if you guys can see it this room oh this side is kind of looking fine it's as it was i think when i last sorted out this room but i need to go through my wardrobes that might have to be a separate video like reorganizing my wardrobe for summer and moving but yeah i need to <laughs> there's so much stuff over there i need to sort this stuff out that's on the top of my ikea units it's basically all of my nail stuff so i'm just gonna sort through this part of the wardrobe so this part that's my ring light if anyone's wondering what that is it's just intruding on my shot this part of the wardrobe is just full of worky bits so like bits of tech but honestly i have not used a dslr camera in god knows how long and i have two why do i have two why did i keep two i don't know i'm tempted to give one to ryan because i feel like he would be way more interested in learning how to use it i'm just not not bothered anymore really i just want to do my job with my g7x and my iphone and my little canon and that's it so yeah we've got tech we've got stationery we've got a random jewelry holder there's bits up here which are some comic books friends trivial pursuit which i'm definitely keeping blogosphere magazine copies which i'm obviously going to keep but i actually need to send one to a friend so i need to get that ready for when we're out of lockdown and then just a few other bits which are really random and i don't need and then as we come further down there's the tech and then below that is just folders of like paperwork and boring stuff so one of those little cubby holes if i can clear one can definitely definitely be used for my nail stuff and then if i clear another one i could potentially keep just some of my weights and stuff if i can clear enough i can like block the bottom off because there's a bottom cubby hole as well with random tripods and stuff in it if i can clear that i can put my weights and stuff in the bottom bit and that would be ideal i will show you what it looks like when it's done this room is just never going to look neat i've kind of resigned myself to that but i'm excited to have a good cleanse of it so that when i move i don't have to bring all of this stuff with me because it's a lot someone also asked me to talk about bits that are on my rail because you were really sweet and said that all of the colors go really nicely together and i agree they do there's definitely a color palette for my summer wardrobe so um i've talked about this before but this is a dress from and other stories if i can find a picture of me wearing it I will put it on the screen now. It's gorgeous. I love it. This skirt is one from the Lorna Lux in the Style range, which I feel like can come off the rail. It's just been there for quite a while, but I'm really excited when I'm finally allowed back out into the world to get a lot of wear out of that. I've got a gorgeous dress from Nasty Girl. This is my favourite white summer dress of the moment although this dress from my asos haul on thursday if you haven't seen it i will link it it's definitely a contender but yeah anyway i've got this other dress from nasty girl which i just love the colors of it's just me in a dress in terms of like color black and then that gorgeous like mauvey rose color which sits perfectly next to this mauvey rose top which never stays on the hanger so pray for me in getting this back on the rail that one is an absolute nightmare to keep on there we've then got my fave little white asos dress this is like perfect for like more casual days this one is more of a like dressy vibe and i would say for warmer days because it's a bit more fitted and a little bit more structured whereas this is a bit more loose this one i would say is actually more dressy so this is the asos one i would say this is more of a dressy vibe so this could carry you into like an evening shindig because it is a bit more sheer and the skirt is a bit more like floaty and i don't know just a bit more glam this is like a perfect spring colored day dress oh it's just the most beautiful like minty duck egg blue kind of color again that's in my asos haul so if you want to see that it will be linked then we have a shirt from and other stories which i am loving it needs a steam because <laughs> it's been in my suitcase from when i went away last and i've just been i've left a lot of my shirts that were in my suitcase hanging here in hopes that the creases would drop out and spoiler alert they have not we then have this 
top from Zara, which I'm dying to wear at some point in the next few days. And then this shirt, which is the shirt version of the dress that I have over here. I just couldn't resist this one and other stories offered semi pieces. So I was like, um, I'll take the dress and then I would also love the shirt in the same print because I'm obsessed with this print. It is just stunning. And this during the summer, but with like leather trousers on days when it's like very, you know, you get those cold summer days that will be absolutely perfect so yeah that is what is on my rail then got a little hat got my chloe bag because i'm actually really enjoying this at the moment so yeah i might not be selling this but i think it's tan little sister will have to go but yeah i'm loving that especially with this shirt and like this dress oh my god they just work so perfectly together and then down here i have hats which definitely need to go into my winter storage and then my chloe sandals and then some zara heels which i got last year i just love they're very like chanel -y. my top shop sandals which i just love i cannot wait to wear you guys again and then some zara heels which i picked up kind of recently yeah those hats really need to go oh i also have some bits from lily silk let me see if i can show you so they sent me a shirt and a little black silk top as well they also sent me this is in keeping with my like summer color palette some scrunchies so you will have seen me wearing the nude one of this i believe already but they sent me this gorgeous blue one which it's just the most stunning colour. I can't wait to wear that. And then also this silk scrunchie, which is like a beautiful gold colour, which I think is perfect for when you're like rocking a little low bun. Yeah, so that is what is living at the bottom of my rail. That's pretty much it for what's going on over here. And here we have my outfit of the day, which is just so in keeping with the colour palette of my summer rail. I'm wearing my girlfriend cycle shorts. And then this top is from the ASOS own like activewear range from when I did my workout this morning. Can I be bothered to change just for organising? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, after all that, I have changed. I know I'm not normally a colour girl, but this colour is making me so, so happy at the moment. It's just really helping to like lift my mood. So this is what I'm going to wear for organising today. It's super, super comfy and you can get away with not wearing a bra with it, just saying. So I am like super comfy it's basically like a 90 but appropriate for the outside world which is great really great actually because there's something i need to go and get from my car and my neighbors cannot see me in my pajamas again for the the 50th time this quarantine so this is what i'm going to be wearing this afternoon i'll link it if you guys want to go and check it out okay i've signed off today's video the kitchen is looking a mess because ryan is about to do a live stream and i'm quickly ripping up some lunch so we have some prawns some spinach some asparagus just like heating there and then i'm gonna pop it in this egg mixture and just make an omelette fun fact i hate omelettes but i'm really trying to be quite conscious of how i'm eating uh, during a time when i'm not as active as i would normally be so i'm just going for like a nice light omelette and then i'm also going to put some nando sauce on the top because i just find it makes something that i don't like a little bit more bearable probably caveat this by saying that because I hate omelettes I don't actually know how to cook them so pray for me I really don't know what I'm doing <laughs> this is bad I think this might end up being scrambled egg yeah this went okay I give myself like a four out of ten depending on how it tastes <laughs> but um yeah presentation is poor I think I'll leave the cooking to Ryan you guys so ryan and i get asked a lot or i get asked a lot about me and ryan why we have separate houses why i'm buying a house separately to him <laughs> why we don't live together and i just want to take a moment because no one really understands what it's like when two people that have their own Sorry. <laughs> 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 yeah when two people that are creative, live in the same space, two people that work from home live in the same space. So I make enough mess as it is and you guys see the mess that I make and the chaos that ensues when I'm filming and all of that. So bear that in mind. And then this, this, <laughs> like my living room has just been taken over by Ryan's things and i'm now hiding in my bedroom and obviously this is why i decided to clean out the office today because that is the only way that we were gonna be in harmony and both be able to work in this space and i've been waiting to do the clearing out montage because 
I'm gonna do it whilst he is making this flat sound like a club because I can't do any audio. So this, this is the exact reason why we cannot... This is exactly why we have to have separate houses because neither of us wants to drain money on a studio that we have to rent because that is pointless. So we basically have purchased our own studios effectively. That's all we've done in buying properties. But um, yeah, this is why. This is a permanent fixture, by the way. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. You're definitely cooking. I'm not going anywhere near that tech. Absolutely tech. not. It's just some <laughs> tech equipment that I could break. So you've got guest list to be cleared. <laughs> Is my cup of tea ready yet? Yeah. What are you making us for dinner tonight, Chef Ryan? Beets and bass. That's not dinner. Tacos, you want it? Mmm. Fish finger tacos. Just want to push a button. Press that one. No. Why? <laughs> I know what that one does. Green means go. But I do know that there is a button that Ryan always presses whenever he's like doing a set. It's that one. That one. And you do it with the beat. There we go, yeah. <laughs> That's all I know about your job is that that is something that you repeatedly do and I literally know nothing else. All you know is that I press a button over and over and yeah. over. When I have to go to jobs with Ryan, have to. I enjoy it. I enjoy this bit. I'm pretty I, sure you have actually done that. I've done this so many times. I'll, I'll find the picture from uh, New Year. I'll probably shout it. There's a picture from me on New Year where I'm just like, I've got the headphones on. Love having the headphones on. I'm being asked to leave the club, okay. <laughs> Too old for the club. <laughs> Ryan has me check his shots when he's in live streams because he always leaves something in it. Last time it was a whole sink of washing up, which made me want to die. Bye. 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 <laughs> Look at what he's doing. Oh my god. And just in case anyone needed further clarification, this is going to be the rest of my afternoon. Whilst I'm working. Do I need this? I don't feel like I need to keep this, but I do enjoy annoying Ryan with this every Christmas. That's a maybe. What do I do with these? There's also bank cards in here and I have no idea what they're for. But they expire soon. See, I just buy too many birthday cards. I don't need to buy any more birthday cards. If you see me buying birthday cards, tell me to stop. This isn't even the one that I am using, and Ryan is also using one right now. Too many. Too many. Do I need them? No, because they're all broken. So as you know, I've been going through my cupboards, several things have fallen out on me, including this photo album. Look how cute my mom is. She's so cute. Look at this, inappropriately dressed since birth. Like, come on. When people are like, you're always naked. Yes, I have always been naked. Why my mum thought that hairstyle was a good idea, I will never know. Look at that, wow. <laughs> a rare sighting of my mum with dark hair, wow. Also, does anyone else feel like when they look at photos of themselves when they were a kid, they don't look like how they look now, but this one photo, I'm like, yeah, I feel like that's what I look like. Except with the scraped back hair, look at that forehead. 
it's huge. I was doing ponytail extensions before Ariana Grande. I'm just gonna put it out there. <laughs> me and my beanie babies. Oh my god. Baby Susie's school pictures. Me when I was, I think, 16 and nothing has changed. I still look exactly the same. We also have so many magazines which literally fell on my head. So these are from 2015. This advertorial with Max Factor was everywhere. You could not not see my face it was in every single magazine but this was probably one of my favorite early shoots i ever did i had so much fun on that shoot and then we have this one for company magazine i think this was the first one i ever did the pictures actually when i first did this i hated the pictures i just thought i didn't look like me i didn't like it now i'm like yeah that looks like me and, and those are probably some of my favorite pictures of me from that time because i think i look more like how i look now but yeah this shoot was definitely a memorable one this picture i was so cold i think i had frostbite on my ass cheeks it was a lot it was very very late at night and because we were shooting for spring it was a no tights look and uh you can imagine how happy i was i like the leather jacket and the shot is cool but i don't think that was the first time i was in company magazine i think this was the first time i produced this shoot myself everyone in this hey live we all sent in our own photos of these hairstyles i think i was actually on a friend's birthday trip that i'd organized for her and i was like i'm really sorry i'm gonna have to work because they've just like last minute.com emailed me but i loved these photos and i remember being so happy with how they turned out we have quite a lot of company magazine features this one i remember taking a whole day off of work for so that i could go up and shoot with them and they literally used one photo so that was a really great use of my time off full-time work this one i really enjoyed i was judging their like beauty awards so i got a little front cover mention and then page 134 there's me again tiny tiny little susie's face and that was actually the day i met amelia liana who was also on that shoot i think that was when we met i think i'm not sure we also have another i don't know why i'm keeping this one because there's not even a picture reference of me but i remember i think my dad got me this copy but it says best vlogger <laughs> october from the cosmo influencer awards and the reason i'm not pictured is because i did not go not good of me but i was very anxious at the time and then we have this feature which is in Red magazine i remember this i did a phone interview with them i think i had to dodge some tricky questions on this one but yeah i really like that feature and i love the photo that they used i'm always so happy when magazines use a photo that i like oh my god this feature i actually forgot how long this was this is the whole page for me so yeah lots and lots of features did i get them all oh this one which was part of a really big advertorial shoot for ghost but there was this also this little like print feature included so yeah that is i think that's all of them and then that takes us to here just my cover sheet last year what a difference five years makes look at the difference in my eyebrows this is such a washed out picture compared to this one it's unreal this is me after having worked solidly seven days a week for three four years and having never seen sunlight so was not familiar with bondi sands so this is the feature on the inside i hate this picture that is not my favorite i really didn't like that look from the shoot this one i loved i loved that look so cool the eye look was gorgeous like really really natural they've edited my eyes in this by the way which is one of the reasons why i think i look even more different to normal because they've actually lightened my eyes which looks amazing and i love it it obviously is kind of weird because it's not my eye color but i look like a twilight vampire and i kind of am vibing with it can you focus there we go yeah oh i love that shoot so much this picture i feel like is everyone's favorite it's gorgeous i really love it they sprayed my face with oil and obviously it's like touched up and everything but my skin looks so cool love it these bits of hair as well were so funny they just would not stick to my face like we wanted them stuck to my neck as well and they just would not stick forever having rebellious hair this was almost the cover shot and i put in a personal diva request because it wasn't it was really just like guys i really love the the cover shot they were asked me which one i preferred and i was like not this one even though it's so cool they basically like glittered my entire like neck and chest i was still scraping it off myself for weeks but yeah that is not my favorite shot black eyeshadow on me is a no-go because i've got such dark eyes god i had so much hair at that point as well those are this i have the same extensions in now that i did back then they're a lot thinner now so yeah that is a history of hello october magazine covers thank you all very much for coming to my history lesson look at this I've done so well I've even put things that I want to put in a loft or storage space up here so that it just makes sense to me when I'm eventually packing. Oh, it's just so great. I love having a space for all my nail stuff now. So amazing. The side behind me is clearing. <sighs> Finally getting there. I'm tired now. I'm tired. 
So the bedroom is looking really good. My office cupboards are just looking so tidy, so ridiculously tidy. I would show you it, but Ryan's since moved all of the studio lights and like our tripods and his DJ, what do you call them? Like the stands and Speaker. speaker stands and the things back in there. So it doesn't look so cute now, but um, well, it didn't really look cute in the first place, but um, it's organized. The cupboard is organized. So I finished my call with Lauren, had a call with the girls, and now Ryan has cooked me fish tacos. Thank you. Fish tacos. Thank you so much. I've also just told him he needs to go and watch the bloopers from the last video because if you haven't seen them, you should also go watch them because it's really funny and it involves him. Lauren was editing it and she was laughing so much editing it. I knew she'd love it. But yeah, I love it when like something is happening in a vlog and I like find it extra funny because I know in my head how much Lauren will be laughing editing something. So yeah, you guys should definitely go and watch that. ASOS Hall has gone live, feeling like nice and like I've actually done stuff today. Some days at the moment I feel so sad and I just end up playing Sims all day. So it feels good to like get this done. So you guys know I love fish tacos. These are not taco shells, these are just like wraps. Tiny wraps? Yeah, basically I just love fish fingers and Mexican food. So that's that's tonight's dinner. And I love how many of you have already like tagged me on Instagram saying that you're having the same inspired by my videos. It's so cute. That and all of you doing workouts is just like bringing me joy. So yeah, I'm gonna go and eat this right now. Why do I do this at the end of every shot? <laughs> like, who needs that little egg? Hello, no everybody. one. I just thought I'd come and outro today's vlog. I was just watching Lauren's final edit back and realised that I hadn't outroed it. And that I also hadn't talked to you about the couple of makeup products that I had on my face. I've got a very similar makeup look on today to the beginning of this video and I wanted to show you what I've been using. I keep getting asked about my lip product. So it's this one. I'm really sorry that if you're in the UK, this is gonna be such a ball ache to get hold of, but it's the KKW Beauty Matte Lipstick in the shade 90s Supermodel. It's like a really beautiful, like peachy pink nude. I love it. This is actually like an okay dupe, but it's not matte, but I've been using this on my cheeks and then a little bit on my nose as well, just like blended out. And it's really like fresh and nice and works especially well with the fact that I'm not wearing like a ton of eye makeup at the moment. I literally just put bronzer, over my eyelids and then just kind of like try and cat eye it slightly and then do my brows and my mascara as usual but my mascara is very light and i just really like it it's really nice and fresh really nice for the summer if you want i will do a summer makeup tutorial i'm so happy to put that together for you maybe when my skin is a little better because between when i vlogged at the beginning of this vlog and now my skin like had a full freak out it has been bad i've still got one more active spot that's like come up in the last 24 hours and sadly i had a milkshake this morning so i think it's all downhill from here still but anyway on my cheeks i've been using the giorgio armani these are like lip to cheek duos so you can use them on your lips and on your cheeks this is in the shade eight and it's just a really lovely um let me see if i can show you it's just a really really lovely pink and when you blend it out it just looks so so natural and just like a really lovely fresh blush of pink so yeah i pop that on my cheeks and then i buff it in with like a quite a dense foundation type brush i find those just work the best with cream products so yeah those are what i was talking about at the beginning of this video i hope you guys have enjoyed this there is plenty more sorting out i think that is about to be happening because like i mentioned with my wardrobes i think i need to just like get that in order so that is going to be it for me today i'm going to go have some lunch because ryan is very kindly making me some tomato olive pasta mm. I'm so excited. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next vlog on Thursday where I will probably be extensionless. So I curled my hair for the last time today. Bye hair. <laughs> so yeah, it's goodbye from me and from the hair. <laughs> Bye.